I believe we're going to go through three and a half years of tribulation. But even if you believe the rapture is going to be at the beginning of these seven years of hard times, even if you believe we're going to have an easy out, the Holy Spirit reminded me that before the seven-year tribulation starts, it doesn't start until a seven-year peace is signed by the Antichrist. So what we need to remember is how much time is it going to take and what has to happen before a seven-year peace is signed by the Antichrist. Well, number one, the Antichrist has to be in power before he can sign and develop a seven-year peace with mm -hmm. Israel in the Middle East. Yes. Okay, if he's in power where he's the head, in fact, the, the Bible says in Revelation, one of the heads of the beast, the head, the beast government had ten heads, one of the ten heads of state is fatally wounded, which means before the Antichrist can show up, there has to be a beast government mm -hmm. that has 10 heads of state over 10 regions of the world. So, so now if we back this up, before the peace can be signed, which would trigger the Great Tribulation, the Antichrist has to be here. But before he can be here, the one world government has to be in place. So the, we're starting to stack up a few things that have to happen. Yes. yes. Well, now... What is, has to happen before a one-world government is put in place? And that's what we're going to be talking about, or maybe we already talked about the first domino. Okay, mm -hmm. something has to happen so catastrophic globally that the countries of the world would be willing to give up their constitutions, their individual freedoms, and join a one-world government before it can be put in place. We literally are going to have to see a catastrophic event that causes the nations of the world to willingly give up their independence. That catastrophic event, I believe, and most prophets agree with me, will be a global economic collapse. And with the global economic collapse happening over several months, and as this prophetess was shown, that it would take four months for the economy of America alone to collapse. Mm -hmm. And during those four months, let me tell you, day one of the economic collapse, you are going to be seeing hyperinflation. You are going to see the value of your money dropping like a lead balloon. And when you rush off to Walmart to try to buy some food, it's going to be like it's going to be hit with a thousand people trying to get food off the shelves. And when the economy starts to collapse, it'll be too late to prepare. So when that co economy starts to collapse, and it collapses, and anarchy, martial law, famine, starvation happens over a four-month period, <coughs> and then we see America sold out to a global solution. That might take us to five months. Mm -hmm. And then another month for that man of perdition to take over and to start laying out the ground rules and to lay out a seven-year peace. Guess what? All of this that I'm saying, four months of economic collapse, one month of countries being sold out and joining a one-world government, and then the final, the final pieces of the puzzle being put in place, and then the Great Tribulation starts. You know, if the, if the rapture really is pre-trib, you're going to have to go through six months of hell. I mean, we're talking about anarchy, starvation, food rationing, riots. Six months, even if the rapture was pre-trib. And you know what? The church does not have six months worth of food and supplies for their family, friends, and neighbors and the tribulation hasn't even started yet. Oh, I, I, you're talking about Matthew 24. You've got this great discourse of Jesus Christ telling you what will come. He said all these things will happen yes. before. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it, it talks about the Antichrist. Yes. In Matthew 24, he's yes. there. And all of these events, earthquakes, no, and no 
food to eat. All that, all of that and takes place yeah. before the rapture. The rapture. And you know, I'm going to go into chapter 17. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And I am going to show an asteroid meteor event that Jesus shows in Matthew 24. I'll show it to you. Chapter and verse, it is going to happen before the rapture. And boy, let me tell you what, there's going to be some people scared back to their knees when that happens. But a lot of things that Jesus described in Matthew 24 are going to happen before the rapture. Absolutely, they have to, because yes. he said, then he's coming in the sky. You know, I had somebody, I had somebody I point out to me, he says, John, I know you're a prophet, and you need to say, thus saith the Lord, more often. And you know what my response was? I said, I know I have a prophetic ministry, but every time I go into an area of teaching, the Holy Spirit reveals scripture to me that I'd never seen before, and I put yes. those words of God in my Bible, because every place where I back up my teaching with the word of God, it is thus saith the Lord. It is not John Shorey. Amen. Amen.